Rose Hill has a new leading man. We welcome the new men's basketball coach at Fordham, Kyle Neptune, to the show. Good morning, Coach. How are you? Hey, how you doing, Bobby? Great to be uh, here. Thanks for having me. So excited to have you here on the show. I know it's been a busy time for you. You've hit the ground running. How do you plan on turning around a program that has had only two winning seasons in the A-10 since 1995? Tough question to start off the interview. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Get right into it, huh? Um, listen, we're, we're starting from right now. Um, so whatever happened in the past, that that's the past. So we, we got to start from right now. Um, and, and we're going to build this thing. We're going to build it the right way. Um, we're going to focus on our culture. We're going to focus on playing hard, um, playing together. And, you know, we're, we're going to get guys in here who are committed to doing that. So, Coach, in your mind, what is most attractive about this job? Why did you want to come to Fordham? Well, first and foremost, um, I mean, Fordham's an unbelievable university. Um, you know, when you look at from the academic standpoint for, to a mission standpoint, um, just what it stands for, it, it's just a great place. Um, you know, walking around campus and seeing the people and being around the people, it, it, you, you get a vibe. Um, and it, you just, the people who are here are special and very uh, into Fordham. Uh, and and that, that's similar to the places I've been and that, that's something I would always want to be around, a, a place with special people. Um, and then and then you move on to, you know, myself personally, I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I mean, this is home for me. Um, you know, I grew up coming here. I played AAU games here. Um, you know, I played here, you know, uh, I played here as a player in, in college as well. Um, you know, uh, our, our AD, uh, Ed, lo loves to tell us, loves to tell me that if I uh, was a little better, I would have went to Fordham. Um, but, you know, this this is just a special place for me. I, I really looked at it as home from day one. Um, and, you know, I, I, I couldn't be more happy. So, Coach, you know, I've heard both sides of the argument when it comes to the Rose Hill Gym, oldest basketball gym in the country. But oftentimes, many young recruits may not be interested in the history of Fordham. Do you think it will be difficult to attract some of the players that you were recruiting in your former position as an assistant at Villanova to the Bronx? Well, I mean, those are these are two completely different places, right? So, you know, I'm, I'm going to recruit the best players for Fordham University. Um, we're going to get the best guys that we possibly can that want to be here and look at this place like it's special because it is. Um, so, you know, I, I am no longer at that place. Um, I'm now at Fordham. So you know, I'm going to recruit the best possible players um, that want to be here. I think the fans, though, definitely want you to bring some of that championship pedigree with you to the Bronx. So, you know, you won national championships at Nova under Jay Wright. What lessons yep. do you think that he taught you as a head coach that you believe you might be able to carry with you now to Fordham? Yeah, I mean, I always with with him. I mean, I think he's one of the best coaches, um, you know, if not the best coach in the country, one of the best coaches ever in college basketball. Um, so just learned. I've, I can't even put one thing that I've learned from him. There's been so many um, from how to run a program um, just to how to being a good man in general. Um, you know, he, he's one of the best doing it, not just a great coach, but an even better person. So, you know, just being around him, you know, I have a great base um, in terms of, you know, how to run a program, um, you know, how to treat your players, um, you know, then also basketball wise, you know, picked up a couple of things over the years. So, you know, and then the last thing is just the, the Villanova network and um, all, the, all the, you know, different grassroots guys I've been able to be around the last you know, eight or 10 years. So, it, yeah, I, I mean, I couldn't have, couldn't have, couldn't have learned from a better uh, person and couldn't have been at a better program. So you mentioned your profile a bit, you know, you're 36 years old, native New Yorker from Brooklyn. You played at Lehigh, senior captain during your playing days. The trend lately for a lot of college programs has been to target younger head coaches. Do you think that age matters? Will it help you connect better with your players? No, I, I'm I'm just I think that I think that they looked at me as just the right guy for the job. I don't know if age played a, a role or not. I mean, honestly, I, I don't really care. Um, I know that, you know, for me, um, this was a special place. Um, I think, you know, our goals aligned. Um, I think that uh, and that's that's all that mattered to me. Um, you know, and, you know, I, you, you mentioned connecting with the players. That's definitely something that I think that we're, we're definitely going to do. And our staff is, is going to uh, invest in each player uh, and make sure that we have great relationships with them. Yeah, I mean, I, I actually, in my opinion, I thought that it, it hurt Coach Neubauer uh, prior because, you know, he hadn't had the success that they thought he was going to have. He won the 17 games his first year, but he finished 61 and 104 after six seasons. And. You know, you look, you know, I guess you could play devil's advocate because you look at someone like Rick Pitino, of course, as a legendary coach, 
he had success in his first year at Iona. But again, the trend lately has been to hire younger coaches that might be more hungry in the position. Yeah, uh, I mean, like like I said, I, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't matter young, old. Like I wanted this job. This is a, a unbelievable university, um, and I'm excited to get started. All right, so what's first priority now in terms of the returning players? I know you've been meeting with them and even your recruiting process moving forward. Yeah, you know, honest, for, for the current guys, you know, just kind of acclimating them to a, a new system, a new way of thinking, um, a, a, a new style of play. Um, and then, you know, for the, for recruits, um, you know, just finding guys that high-level players that want to be at Fordham and want to take this journey. I think our, our fans here in the Bronx would love to know even a little bit more about you. So I guess and we, we know you're up against it in terms of time. So we'll play a little speed round here with the question. Oh, boy. Let's All right, go. Here we go. So you were a journalism major in college. If you weren't coaching hoops today, what job would Kyle Neptune be working and why? Um, If I was not coaching, I'd probably be doing something in real estate. My parents are... Um, in, in the real estate game in, in Brooklyn, uh, that's right. been a passion project for them, and you know I'd probably be following in their footsteps. It's a good good career path. That might might, might actually uh, be less stress than being a college basketball coach. I don't know. All right. So uh, with with the new gig, you get to come back home. I would say in these parts, New York City, pizza is probably the most popular oh. in terms of food, just like Philly cheesesteaks in Philly. What is the ultimate cheat meal for Coach Neptune? Uh, you you hit it on the head. It is pizza for sure. Um, now I, there's a pizza shop on Fulton Street in Brooklyn, New York, um, called Not Raised Pizza. I went there. I've been going there since I was. I, I mean, since I remember. Um, so so um, anytime I came into town when I when I wasn't working here, I always went and got a slice. No matter what diet I was on at the time, that was always my cheat meal. So it, it, and it always will be. Is it is it just regular cheese pizza, or are you going with something more extravagant? No, nah, just a regular cheese slice. That's it. That's it. Throw a little bit of uh, Parmesan cheese on there, a little oregano. It's good to go. I think you're going to be popular here in the Bronx, Coach. I appreciate that, Bobby. So some of the Fordham alums have already commented on your sharp threads and the pressers that you've done so far, becoming the new head coach, of course, at Fordham. Do you have a go-to suit, and where do you plan on shopping for your wardrobe to gear up for your first season at Rose Hill? You know what? Um, you know, unfortunately, Fortunately, our, our tailor uh, at Villanova passed away, um, you know, uh, is maybe a couple uh, over a month ago now. Um, so I'm, I, I have I do not have someone that I, I'm working with. So if, if someone has any suggestions, I'll be happy to hear. It. I, I might mean, I, I, I need I to go. With you. Who's your guy? <laughs> I can't give up my secrets. here. <laughs> You're too new to the program. You got to get a little little more. Uh, right, you we'll know, work into that before, we'll work before into we that. share those secrets. And uh, fi final question here this morning. Again, we really appreciate you taking the time to you know, shed some light on your profile and talk to the fans here in the Bronx. What would be your message to the Fordham faithful that really just want to have a winning season? Yeah, we're, we're going to do everything we possibly could do here to, to make our Fordham alum, um, especially the former players, proud. And that's going to be our goal. That's a great message. Before we let you go to what would be the expected timeline to have everything, you know, where you need it to be to kind of start uh, year one on the right foot? Well, um, we just got to finish up our staff um, and we got to finish up uh, our roster. Uh, I know that there's, we, we still have a, a couple of scholarships outstanding. Um, and then from there, um, you know, just continue to lay down the foundation in terms of our culture and our style of play. Um, and then just team building and getting the guys uh, acclimated to a, a new way of playing and a, a, a new style of coaching. Thanks so much, Coach. Appreciate you taking the time. I'm looking forward to going, you know, wardrobe shopping with you for the new season. There we go. Excited to, to see you hit the ground running at Fordham this year. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it.